So this is the newest modification on my Yerf Dog Spider Box. So I was getting some stretching in the, in the chain. My chain was getting loose and I didn't have much room to tighten it because of the, uh, the torque converter. It was gonna hit. I couldn't move it, move the engine any farther forward. Um, and I couldn't take a link off the chain because I've got this brace connected to the swing arm um, that I couldn't move the uh, engine any further back if I would have taken off a link. So anyway, so I'm gonna try this out. This is a, a 420 sprocket. It's got a bearing in there that uh, I bought this on Amazon. It's got a 12 millimeter bolt going through it and it's got a couple bushings on either side um, so it could ride on that bearing. And I just fabricated a lever bracket here. I welded on this other bushing here that's gonna be a pivot point. And I've got this spring that I'm gonna use. Um, so here's the idea. All right, it's gonna go here. Get a good angle on it. So, it's gotta take up all that slop. So here's what I plan to do. I plan on welding a tab on the swing arm. Not this big, obviously. But there's gonna be a, a bar there, maybe a couple inches long. I'm gonna drill a hole through. drill a hole through it and then uh, mount it on here and then this spring the spring here is going to provide tension constant tension on the chain um, so hopefully it'll work out and I don't have to worry about the chain slopping, slapping all over the place. So we'll see. So this is my chain tensioner installed. So I spot welded it here and here on both ends only to uh, make sure it's going to fit and the fitment and the alignment is going to be, it's going to be right. So it works pretty well. I'm gonna spin the spin the tire on this other side. As you can see, this has got some pretty good tension on it. See the alignment of the teeth. If I can find it there. So the sprocket is pretty well aligned. in there, you can see. The chain has got some play 
on either end of those sprocket teeth. So that means it's aligned pretty well in line with the main sprocket. It's not pushing against either side of the chain. So uh, I think this is going to work pretty well. for good since it seems to be aligned up pretty well where it is there. So this is the end product. I guess I should paint it to inhibit rust, but I guess that's another job for another day. But anyways, it seems to work pretty well. Keeping the slop out of the chain, I'll spin this back tire. There's a little more gear noise, but I guess that's better than the noise of the chain slapping against the sprocket. So I guess I'll live with it. <laughs> 